Well, for us, Cannes Film Festival is the most important festival in the world. And, and growing up as, as you know, dreaming being directors, film directors, also Hollywood directors, it's sort of like you dream of going to the Oscars and you dream of going to Cannes. So when we made that movie, um, that was just our hope. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a more difficult movie, you would say, than our Hollywood productions, which means it's also more artistic, more auteur, it's very personal. And, and then you sort of hope that the first stop of a movie like that is, is this film festival, you know, that we can show it to the world and, and uh, it's just a big badge of honor. Well, um, as a Moroccan growing up in Brussels, there were a lot of young people that went to Syria to, to fight against the regime of Assad and their intention was to, you know, to, to fight these atrocities and they ended up in ISIS. But the thing is, all these people were from my neighborhood, people that I know, people that are, you know, like friends and, and people that I loved and it was surprised that all this happened around me and, and this radicalization of Islam was, was something that, yeah, for us it's, it's a very personal story that we had to tell and, and show that Islam is also not that side of, of, of ISIS or whatever it is, showing that complexity, that war and why these young people went there was a very important story to tell. Well, for us, um, well, Lubna Azabal is our favorite actress in the world. In the world! <laughs> in the world! And uh, that's that, because, you know, we as Moroccans in Belgium, we grew up also watching her movies and we thought, whoa, we have, we have a sister who is, you know, you know, so successful and making movies in Europe, in Hollywood and all that. And it was just our dream to one day work with her. So, so when we had the chance, that was like just the, the first person that we wanted to ask to play that part. And uh, Abu Bakr, we discovered him in a school. He was a non-professional actor. The first time that he played in a movie was for Black. Uh, the movie that sort of was our ticket to, to Hollywood. So it was such a great experience that we wanted to work with him again. And he's from Molenbeek, he's from Brussels, he's really from that neighborhood also. Has a very strong and close connection to that subject matter. And uh, and then we have Amir, this is my little brother, who uh, who always wanted to play in movies, wanted to perform, wanted to act. And, and, and we thought, okay, let's maybe have a try. And, and he convinced not only me, but convinced everybody involved. And then we were looking for uh, for an Arab actress to play that character of Noor, and we did casting so so many people, and she was just exactly the person that was on the page, and Tara just did a, an amazing job. So that's that's how it all came together. Uh, for me, it was not so easy. I uh, I looked a lot of uh, documentaries, uh, films about this subject. I know this subject too because, like Adil said, I'm from Olmbek. And uh, like Bilal, I know uh, some people who went uh, to Syria for the war, uh, who died there, who, who came back to prison. So this, uh, this, all things that I, I, I saw, and I think, okay, I have to take a little bit from this story, from this story, to, to make it a character. And uh, it was not so easy, but uh, I think we did it, and uh, that's my part of, of the character. For me, I had to uh, do a lot of research on women who have actually been through the same thing. Um, women like Nadia Murad, who went through the exact same experiences Noor went through, but she came out stronger and she became one of the greatest influencers of her age at the moment. And um, a lot of documentaries, definitely, and interviews with women who have been through this trauma. Um, I like to add a lot to the character from myself usually, but to connect with a character that has been through things that I have never honestly experienced was a bit hard, but it was one of the greatest experiences for me.